Hello guys, this is Sandra here today and if I look a little bit weird it's because I only have my base products on and my brows but there's no bronzer, no blush, no eyeshadow, mascara, lipstick, nothing like that, just foundation, a bit of powder in my brows and it's because I got some Fenty products. Um, so I got the set with a bronzer and a highlighter slash bronzer stick in there and I also got two of the lipsticks from the summer collection that they have launched. I had my eyes on these for a while so it's really exciting. Um, if I talk a bit more quiet than usual it's because my boyfriend is upstairs in the living room and it feels a bit weird to film while he's home. I usually don't do that. So, excuse that. Everything I used I will leave down in the description box but for now let's just get on with the products. Let's start with the bronzer which is in the shade Shady Biz. And I think this is the only one that comes in a kit, but anyway, when I was looking around, this is the colour that suits me anyway. And it looks like it's not going to be too cool toned or neither too warm toned, it seems fairly neutral. And I hope it's going to be really, really nice on the cheeks. I'm really excited. I had my eyes on some Fenty products for a while now, but I never committed to buying them. So let's see. Excuse my hair, I have to put it in a bun, it's just too hot. Otherwise, it's a really hot day. London at the moment. It's been for the past two days now. Alright, really natural so far. But you can actually build it up, that's good. Oh, my, I should have maybe put the cream one on first. You know what, let's do the powder first on this side, the cream one on that side and then we can even it out but let's just see how they build together. It's a really really natural colour on me. I think if I want it to be a bit darker I will have to go a shade up. I'm not sure how much I can build this up. Hmm. Not that much. I mean it's it's still enough. You can definitely see it compared to the other side. And blends really nicely as well. Bring a bit down. Put it down on my neck. Yeah. Put it on my temple, forehead. Okay. It's really, really nice and natural. It's matte as well. So let me just say the quality of the packaging, even though it's a mini, it's really really nice. When you open up the bronzer it still has um, the embossing, is that what you call? Yes. On it, I'm not sure how much you can see but you're going to have some close ups anyway. Um, so that's fine. And all packaging, little plastic tray that it comes in, it has this velvet um, layer on it rather than just being plastic which I think is a really nice touch especially when you talk about a high end brand which I really really like and also with the lipsticks again when you open them up it has like the Fenty logo embossed on it which is really really nice I mean that's gonna go quickly but you know it's a nice touch let's see on the other side let's start with the cream first hmm how do we do this should I go on with the brush yeah I think what I'm gonna do I'm gonna take the geofiber brush and then just brush the product on it first let's try it that way and then just blend it on the cheeks does it work that way uh, not much okay let's go straight in Okay, it gives a bit of colour, it's not overly shiny. Again, really natural. I might have to go in with my fingers. It definitely needs a bit more building up if you want a bit of colour. Okay, you know what? The best way might be with this with your fingers to get the most amount of pigment. Because it seems like the brush takes away quite a bit from it. And when I swatched it on my hand, I was afraid that it's going to be a bit too shimmery but actually on the cheeks it just translates as a really nice natural bronze glow mm. 
No, it's really nice. Look, you can definitely tell the difference. I mean, I'm wearing a glow foundation, but I powder it a little bit, so this side is not completely matte either. But all the glow that I have there comes from the foundation, rather than um, the bronzer. Let's see now if I can layer it on top of a powder. sure it doesn't look a bit muddy that way. Let's try a bit more. Because sometimes more is more, you know. Hmm. It's not bad, it just gives a bit more of a natural shine to it. So if that's all the shine you want, if you don't like a really intense highlighter, I think you might like this. It blends out really well. Now let's see what happens if I put the powder bronzer on top of this side. Also what I might do, I might just bring a bit down on my nose. Because I like a bit of a bronziness there, but I don't want anything too intense. Oh, that disturbed my foundation a bit. Okay, note to self. Go back in a brush on my nose or just with, maybe with the fingers you can just pat it on rather than going in with the stick because that disturbed my foundation a little bit. Oh no. Bugger. Okay, let's try again. That's slightly better, but I have to say it doesn't like the top of my nose for some reason by the look of it. That's a bit annoying. But maybe it's just because I already brushed it off once. It doesn't quite layer well there. Let's see if I can use it on top of the lip. Even though I know it's a bronzer, but it has quite a bit of shine to it. Yeah, it doesn't quite work there. That's alright. It's, it's not what it's for. And let's see how the powder will layer on this side. Will it take the shine away? Let's see. say at the end there's not that much of a difference between the two sides I think I prefer this side first where I put the cream down first and then the powder um both sides look nice but I, I just prefer this side a bit more that way we definitely don't get any cakey finish I think I would definitely put the stick down first and then Move on with the bronzer. I have to say though that even the stick, even though the cream, you know how some creams feel a bit more solid than others? This is more of that dry cream stick kind of feel, if you know what I mean. It's not overly creamy. What I want to try as well, I want a bit of a bronzer in the creases of my eye and then a bit of this on my lid just to see if that would work at all. So, first, I'm just going to take the powder and a blending brush and just just the smallest bit blending my crease just to tie everything together nothing too much just for a really natural look there we go No, because it's still a cream product, I'm not sure how well it's going to last, but I guess we'll see. Looks like so, the tiniest bit. And I think I'm going to take 
oh by the way the cream stick is in the shade cinnamon but instead of writing it with a c it's s-i-n-a-m-o-n -N. so it's written differently but i assume it's still pronounced the same way well i guess i don't know Also, while we were shopping, I didn't know this, but my boyfriend told me that apparently Rihanna gave an interview lately and we've been all pronouncing her name wrong. It's not Rihanna, but it's Rihanna. I think that's what he said. I don't know, but I was wondering if that's the case. She's been in the public eye for ages, years and years. Why did she not say anything before? I don't know. Ooh, that's beautiful on the eyes. If you're doing a bronzy look, that's perfect. Well, if it stays. If you have oily eyelids, you might need a really good primer under it. But that looks beautiful. What I might do as well, I might just again take the bronzer and blend a bit mm. on my lower lash line. bit of the cream stick and my brows as well just on the brow bone there we go I'm gonna apply some mascara and now comes the most exciting part which is the lipsticks I got two shades I have the orange shade called Sun Snatched and the pink shade called Hot Blooded and these are the Poutsicle? I guess it's like Popsicle but, but Pout? I just changed the camera setting, hopefully it's a bit better now. But I'm gonna apply both of these lipsticks just for the sake of this video. First I'm gonna go in with the pink shade called Hot Blooded. They are really really creamy. Mm. That's beautiful. It's like this typical pinky red color. And I would say if you want to be really precise, you will probably need a lip liner just because they're extremely creamy. It's a really pretty color though, especially for the summertime if you want that pop of color just on your lips with a really simple makeup. I think it looks really, really pretty. And this was the first colour I really really wanted, but I also wanted the orange one, I was not too sure which one to go for, so I got both. Special thanks to my boyfriend who decided to put me out of my misery and he decided to treat me to one and I bought the other one. But yes, this is the one called Hot Blooded. I'm gonna take it off and we're gonna go in with the orange shade as well. Oh look, this pink one could be quite nice as a stained out Look as well if you just put the tiniest bit on your lips, blend it in with your fingers. Quite quite pretty I like that as well. I have to say the lasting power of these lipsticks seems really good. I put some earlier on my hand and even though I washed my hand countless times, it's still a bit stained. And even now I just had it on literally for a minute and it stained my lips a little bit. But never mind, they seem quite opaque, so that's alright. Now we're going to go in with the shade Sun Snatched. I'm really excited about this orange.
there we go that's the orangey shade it looks really nice but I assume once I'm gonna have a bit more tan as well it's gonna be even more amazing it feels really really comfortable on the lips just like the other one it seems like it's a really moisturizing kind of lipstick mm, yeah it feels really really nice on the lips really creamy as you can see the finish is really shiny as well so I assume lasting power wise these are you know not gonna be the most long-lasting lipstick you've ever seen even though it's gonna stain your lips I think the color might stay because of the staining power these seem to have but the shine will definitely go and I think the color will fade slightly just because it feels really slippery on the lips although this one doesn't seem as bad but maybe just because it's a lighter color altogether I'm really really happy about these products my favorites are definitely the two lipsticks and this what are these officially called shimmer skin stick yes this shimmer skin stick is really really nice as well I really enjoyed it the bronzer I like but I like a bit stronger of bronzer and I can't build this up too much now it looks quite strong in camera in real life it doesn't seem that bronzy it looks nice don't get me wrong but sometimes I want a bit more so maybe for a stronger bronze I might need a slightly darker color but even my eyes I just can't stop looking at them with that shimmer stick and for natural days I will definitely definitely reach for this bronzer it leaves a really really nice finish especially combined with this stick it works really really well I think I would go in with the stick first and then the powder it just seems to sit on my skin slightly better that way and now that it dried the stick it doesn't feel sticky on my skin it's completely dry now and even on my eyes it's a bit more sticky still but it hasn't settled in my crease yet and sometimes when I put on anything creamy if it doesn't set quickly enough it will have these you know these little fine lines uh, on my lid I don't have that yet so hopefully it's gonna stay that way but again this is just a quick first impressions video it's not gonna be about anything more than that but so far so good I'm really happy with these purchases if you tried anything from Fenty Beauty, please let me know in the comments below. I would like to know what else is worth picking up because clearly I don't have enough makeup. <laughs> but no, seriously, if there's anything really good, please let me know in the comments below. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and maybe you will consider subscribing. And I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye bye. Also, I quickly had to come back because look at this lipstick packaging. I just had to mention it quickly. How beautiful is this box? I quite would like to keep it. The hoarder in me tells me that it's too beautiful to throw it away. It's this sort of ombre from purple to pink packaging and I just can get enough of this but I, I know I shouldn't keep it. I know, I know, but it's just too beautiful. Yeah, I just I just had to come back on camera and show this. The other box is, you know, it's not that exciting, it's standard, it's nice, but nothing special. But these two, come on, can we just appreciate it for a second? Look at it. It's just beautiful, isn't it? Oh. But what can you do? Also, on the packaging note, I have to mention these two lipsticks as well. They're just so sleek. I mean, it is full size by the look of it. If you look at the bullet, there's a, quite a lot of product in there. But it's just so sleek. It's perfect. Okay, that's it. I'm done. Ooh, did I dent it? No. I'm done. I'm going.